What's up, y'all? It's Luke here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, you guys, today we are going to be doing an updated ponytail tutorial. If you guys haven't seen my last tutorial for a ponytail, that was one of like my second to third videos I've ever done. But I wanted to do another one just because one, I really love ponytails, and two, last time I did a more of like a relaxer tutorial as well. I also wanted to show you how to do baby hairs. I didn't really get to do that last time because my edges were a little thin, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure I am. But I let my baby hairs grow out a little bit more. It's not perfect. So don't judge. But we're getting there. We're getting there. And if you are watching this video and you are a noob to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button below if you want to see more of this content and more of this crazy looking face. Okay. But you guys, let's go ahead and just get started. Choose your fighter. Fight. Fight. y'all so first off i need to snatch this little wig off do not judge me i did not lay this baby down today so i know you can see it saying hey to you but we're just gonna ignore that real quick <laughs> moving on you guys the first product we're gonna use towards our hair is going to be a relaxer at least for me we're gonna be using africa's best and this is the herbal intensive dual conditioning no lie relaxer system so yeah and this also has extra virgin olive oil in it. So this is gonna make our hair super soft. Let's go ahead and crack this baby open. I always recommend reading the instructions before you get started. The second step before you touch any products is to one, divide off your hair which of course I gotta remove this wig first. So here we go. Wig snatched. Okay, so now that you've successfully snatched your wig, you're gonna go ahead and take down your hair and divide it off into four sections just to make sure it's easy to apply the, the relaxer. You don't want to get this on any parts that you don't want it to get on because it is very, very strong, girl, strong. Ooh, forgive me for looking so crusty. Look at these bags. They are screaming for some sleep. Okay. Like, I might have to take a nap after this. <laughs> to alien not looking things going on here. We're gonna move on to the next step, which is mixing the relaxer. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix the cream relaxer with the activator. And then you're gonna use your wooden spoon that they give you. And you're gonna mix it with this. Let's do it. Cringe. All right, you guys, so now that I look like a toddler who doesn't know how to do their hair, I'm gonna take out one of the sections and we're just gonna go section by section, dividing off each one and adding the relaxer. Now, you're gonna notice while I'm, I'm adding it, you guys, I'm only gonna add it to my new growth, so 
we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in it. So I low-key added a little bit too much, so I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna leave it on too long just because I really just wanted to do it on the new growth areas, but I ended up putting it a little bit more on my edges. I have it tied up back here. It's not completely all through my hair, but it's definitely all through here. And then I kind of added it like way too much on this side too. So we're just gonna go with it. Not the best option when dealing with the relaxer, but like I said, we don't have a lot of options. We've already done it. So I will see you guys in about like five to eight more minutes. Five minutes later. All right, you guys. So the front of my head is burning a little bit because I started there first, which that was my first mistake. So um, just to let you guys know, I would start from the back first. I was planning on doing that, but I got distracted and I ended up starting in the front of my head first. So that's probably going to affect the process just a little bit because it's going to make it to where you have to rinse it out a lot faster than you usually would. But since we were just doing new growth anyway and the majority of my new growth was in the front, I think that's why I just jumped right into that part. But yeah, let me just go ahead and rinse this up. I'm going to go take a shower real quick and then I will see you guys afterwards. Two hours later. All right, party people, I am back and we have our relaxed hair. Now, my hair looks a little rough right now because I just towel dried it, but you probably shouldn't do that. I like to do mine wet just because you're about to add all this product to your hair. I like to go in with a brush just to get it nice and brushed out. It's still wet. It's more like damp, but it's just wet enough for me to add my products, but dry enough for me to like actually work with it and for it to not be like super annoying and all wet dripping water everywhere but you want to be very careful when brushing it because I don't want any breakage it's already super delicate now so now what I'm gonna do I'm taking all my little baby hairs and I'm pulling them to the front like so any little baby hairs that you can go like this basically and it starts coming down. You want to get a little bit of that. And bam. Now, keep all of that divided. Then you're going to take another brush. Start brushing your hair up into your desired ponytail height. I like to go for like the Ariana Grande styled bad B ponytail. So I'm going to do a high pony. You could do a low pony, you could do a mid pony, normal pony, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to make mine a little higher up just because this is a look and I do have an event that I'm going to later. Okay, you guys, so now that you've got the desired height that you want all measured out, you're going to go ahead and add your product. Now, I like to use the Got To Be Glued Blasting Spray. Really good. As you guys can see, I got it for like $7, but um, yeah, really easy to use. I just like to spray it around my edges, especially starting with like the back. And I use a nice good bristle brush. It's like a dollar from the beauty supply just to get yourself started and you can get the desired look you're going for. <laughs> I'm also using the Got To Be Glued Styling Gel.
also now that we got our baby hairs laid or at least as late as they are gonna be you're gonna grab your ponytail and i'm gonna be using the organique pony pro um first time i went with the straight 32 inches this is gonna be the body wave 32 inches so i want to go ahead and show you guys a new option um I've worn this one before as well, but I just haven't put it on my channel yet. So now we're gonna go ahead and do that. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so starting off, you wanna grab your ponytail. There's a little clip here. You're gonna clip that into like the side part of your bun, depending on what part you wanna start on. We're gonna start on Okay, you guys, so we are done. Okay. We've got our baby hairs on and laid down. Our ponytail is swinging, and baby, we are ready to go. Like, hello? Yeah, I'm feeling this. If you wanna try this at home, and if you use these same products, everything I use will be in the description below. We got our got to be glued hairspray, the gel, we use Africa's Vest for the relaxer, and of course the Organique Pony Pro. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you wanna see more content like this and more of my crazy little face here, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is honestly my first time really doing baby hairs on myself, so they are not perfect. They're a little off, especially this one. Probably gonna redo this one a little bit. But overall, you guys, I am in love. I mean, you could get a shorter one. I just like the 32 inch. You like to have hair like a swing. So we have that. But yeah, a couple things that I would work on for next time or for the viewers at home. Um, my ponytail is a little off centered. I kept trying to fiddle with it over and over again to make it more center, but of course, it wasn't happening and it was difficult for me to see while doing it in the camera. But other than that, and then of course, on top of that, making my baby hair is more symmetrical. Like I think I did really good on this side and then this side got a little difficult just because my hair is a little different on this side. I really love the body wave just because it does look a little bit more natural and more full than the straight. The straight looks a lot more like very locked down this gives me a little bit of fun so that is all for today hit that notification button so you can make sure you're updated with anytime i post a new video which is usually every week so i will see you guys next time bye love ya